Hey guys, it's Kay from Hubnate Organizing, organizing for real life. So last year I uploaded a video called Storage Solutions for Small Spaces and uh, you guys seem to really like that video. So now we're going to go into more detail about organizing for small spaces. I live in a small space. This is my 725 square foot apartment. It's pretty small by, uh, I guess, normal standards uh, for the United States. Uh, I do live in the city in Boston here. Um, but I did live in a very small space a few years ago. It was about 400 square feet and I had a very, very, very tiny kitchen. Now before I moved in, I was like, what am I going to do? There's like uh, 18 inches of counter space and not a lot of space for anything else but I maximized space in that kitchen and it looked really great in the end and now I'm ready to share a few of my organizing tips for maximizing space in your small kitchen or any kitchen number one only keep the amount of items that you have room for well that's it drop the mic I'm out no, seriously, let's talk. If you don't have room for it in the kitchen, it doesn't belong in your kitchen, and maybe you really didn't need it after all. That like big giant juicer that you like never use, maybe consider getting rid of it. Do you really need 60 plates? Consider downsizing the number of items that are actually in your kitchen right now to where the number of items actually everything really fits. If it doesn't really easily slide into a cabinet or easily slide into a drawer, you might consider that there's not really enough room for it and it's gotta go. You're gonna hear me saying this over and over again, but maximizing vertical space is really the key to maximizing storage in your kitchen. This cabinet only had one shelf and that first shelf went, that top shelf went way back, no good. So drawers are the answer here. I got these from the container store. And not only are pots and pans helpful, but under the sink space as well, I put some drawers. There's a little drawer for all of my cloths and things like that. And I've got this little drawer unit from the container store to hold my cleaners and things like that. Here's a close up view of that little drawer. It holds all of my microfiber cloths. And um, by the way, if you guys are interested in any of these products, they are included down in the description below where you can shop them. And here is my little drawer unit up close to where all my dish packs are kept for the dishwasher and also my cleaners. And uh, just ignore that it says beans and bread. That's uh, kind of an inside joke. So you guys remember that teeny kitchen that I talked about uh, in the beginning of the video? Well, here it is. This is basically the whole space. As you can see where that little red thing is, was my entire counter space. And I had one little column of cabinets, which is not nearly enough. So I created my own uh, freestanding uh, prep, prep space there with some shelving. And also this was in my living room. This was actually my freestanding pantry. I do like to cook a lot. So this is where I had all of my cook tools and my food and it was it the only thing about having this out in your living room is it just definitely has to stay neat if you're super low on cabinet space and also super low on shelving space for pots why not just go vertical again go for the wall If you have limited space, especially limited counter space, consider going for a little smaller appliance. This is a little mini uh, food processor that I have and it's super, super tiny and cute and basically gets the job done. And uh, right now I don't uh, need to have this really small one but it fits right next to my really big one and isn't that adorable. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this, but if you have to, you can use the space above the cabinets if you've got a little uh, space between the top of the cabinets and your ceiling to store things. Uh, it's best to use baskets to hide the clutter. I know this one's kind of a pain, but ditching the bulky store packaging of dry goods and things like that for slim stackable packaging that you can reuse and see through is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of space. It also looks really cute.
Sugar, salt, and honey and pepper is something I'm going for all the time and I always like to have it out. But I don't want to clutter up my counter with too many things, so having this two-tiered Lazy Susan is really helpful and really reduces the footprint all these things make. And uh, this is a little cute owl timer. Having a drying rack can really clutter up your counter, but having a foldable and washable drying mat can really free up your space sort of visually, and you can also put it away easily when you're not using it. Another way you can really save space is to get spice jars off of the shelf. I'm almost embarrassed to be including this clip in this video because this is getting a uh, refresh very soon. Stay tuned for next week's video for my spice drawer re redo. Anyway, having spices in a drawer is really helpful. You can also put them on the refrigerator in some magnetic packaging so that they can uh, take up that space and not space on your shelf. That can free up a lot of space in your kitchen. Well, that's all I have for today. Those are all the tips I have for making the most of your tiny kitchen. Do you guys have any more tips? Please leave a comment down below and let me know what I missed. And if you'd like to and you're not part of the Hubney Organizing family, please subscribe. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we'd love to have you. And also, if you like this video, like it. And if you like it even more, share it with a friend who you think would benefit from this information. I really would love that. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.